Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are a game developer, a 3D artist, or just someone who loves getting free high quality assets, you're going to want to stick around for this one. It is that time of the month where Epic Games is back at it again with their Unreal Engine 5 free asset drops. And this time we're diving into April's free assets. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about these three free asset packs. We'll take a close look at what's inside each pack, how you can use them to elevate your projects, and why you should absolutely grab them before they're gone. Trust me, you don't want to miss out this month. Whether you're building a game, crafting a cinematic or just experimenting with some of Unreal Engine 5's features. These assets are a absolute must-have. From detailed environments to ready-to-use characters and props, they're just something here for everyone. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you never miss out on these free asset updates. And before we get any further on into the video, I want to quickly tell you about our sponsor for this video. Have you ever dreamed of making your own video game? Are you tired of watching millions of YouTube tutorials that don't teach you anything? Well, I was in your same position many years ago and so that's why I created the ultimate Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. This course will teach you step by step how to create a Steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You'll learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system where you can craft different types of tools and items. We'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and plans or tribe system so you can raid other players. We'll even add this open world map and show you how to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam packed with over 250 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. You can pick up the course right now on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount the price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer so take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below all right so the first asset pack that we have here is called the mystery cave as you can see this is just a incredibly well detailed and well lit scene so you can see the cave is made up of these little rocks it has all these different coral leaves and you might notice in the video, my frame rate is not doing the greatest. I don't know if any of that is coming through the recording. And I think that has to do with there's just a lot of particles in the scene. So you can just see all these little look kind of like spores coming down from the ceiling. So here is this magical, mysterious statue. Okay, and down into this part, you can see that there's like this pathway. So here is this pathway. And we have even this little water body down here. So you can see what this looks like, but this kind of reminds me of, you know, one of the caves in Ark, you know, Ark Survival Evolved with just all the different details and, you know, the little pathway into here sort of has like a water part of the cave. So you can see these little light beams coming in from the top part of the cave. And let's just go to the very back. It's not a super large map. So as you can see, it sort of ends right there. There's just quite a bit of assets you can use in here. And as for the overview level, it's just showcasing some of the assets. So you could obviously use these for some sort of alien type world or game. I don't know, they are just super unique and I kind of like the style of them, but they definitely look sort of like organic coming from an alien or, you know, outer space planet. So you can see some of the different meshes over here. Again, I love like the detail and these assets. Some more different cave pieces over here. And I wonder if they actually include the cave mesh itself that they used for the actual shape of the cave. But yeah, here are some of the different plants. So yeah, I don't know, they look sort of like a sci-fi or alien type uh, foliage. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this asset pack down in the comments. Okay, next up we have this assassins pack. So this is sort of like a character pack. And so you can see this is what the character looks like. This guy is fully animated and I'll show you guys sort of the detail on the character. And we'll check out the next level, which shows like the different pieces of armor, but this is sort of like the animations level. So we can see the different animations. It actually comes with some different unique animations like jumping, running. We have idle. Okay, we have some walking backwards, different locomotion and even some different attacks. So you can see we have kick, we have like the spin sword attack, a different hit knockback effects. 
And yeah, the cape has physics. And you can see this little cloth down here is glitching. I'm not really sure what's up with that. So here's the overview level. So this character comes with different modular pieces as well as different colors. So you can see this one is sort of like the default one. Comes with these three blades, assassin blades. And this thing is actually pretty well detailed. You can see if I zoom up real close. Okay, that's a little pouch on the side there. And so here are the different outfit colors. So you can see it comes in the all black one. And it's kind of interesting to get a asset pack like this when we have like a new Assassin's Creed game, you know, recently come out. So yeah, you can see that it comes with the modular character. So it's fully modular, all the pieces. You can pop them and customize it. it even comes with some weapons, which is really nice. So you have a blade, this small dagger, and the small knife, along with some crossbows. So pretty cool to have that included. And of course, this is just showing the animations off. So yeah, those are all of those assets. Let's move on to the next asset pack. So this last asset pack is called the Carpenter's Workshop Environment. And this is from, I believe, Learty Studios. So let's see, this one is just this detailed. It's kind of a very small little level. So this is pretty much the entire room. So it's just all the assets in this room. It's a very detailed uh, environment here with a lot of different carpentry props. So you can see we come with different types of saws, paint brushes there, different types of wagon wheels. Okay, some of the machines, looks like we have a little saw here, cutting some wood. So yeah, you can see what that looks like. Some little clamps over here, hammer and nails. Okay, it looks like over here in the corner, they have some different plans, a little drawing board, and we have the window. So yeah, not a whole lot in this asset pack itself. It's just, you know, all the different props for this tiny little level. And again, it's just a small environment, so it's not really much to see. Actually, I didn't even notice that this part comes with this little attic, but yeah, you can check that out. But other than that, let's go ahead and check out the asset overview level so you can see all the different assets in a little bit better lighting situation here. So yeah, you can see some of the different tools, okay? And the sign there, some rope. Okay, some more different types of tools, hammers. Looks like we have different types of paints. And what is this? Is this a giant loaf of bread? That is absolutely massive for that size. But anyways, let's go ahead and just look at the rest of these. Okay, some more different blueprints. Over here is like the different table pieces. And then of course, you know, some of the modular uh, wall pieces that made up the shop. So yeah, that's pretty much all the assets for uh, this first half of April. So yeah, let me know what you think about all these assets down in the comments down below. We had the three different packs, the assassin character pack, carpentry workshop, and of course the mystery cave. Honestly, probably going to be a very short video showcasing all the different assets. So definitely not a whole lot of content uh, this first half of the month. But yeah, do let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. And that's pretty much it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.